This unspoiled corner of Montana and the 30,000 wild horses that still roam the American West are among the last remnants of an untamed time. Now the horses are stepping into a new role. All four of our horses came from the mountains in Wyoming and one in Northern California. Just a year ago, these horses ran wild. Today, federal agents use them to patrol a 300-mile rugged stretch of the U.S. border with Canada. It's called Project Noble Mustang, and it's filling gaps in homeland defense. These horses, basically, they, they, they're our, our wheels getting into areas that were inaccessible before. These trails may be remote, but they're a favorite route for drug smugglers who bring marijuana south from Canada in exchange for cash and cocaine heading north. But before the Mustangs can serve their country, they serve time at this Colorado prison. The horses are very scared. They'd rather not be around people if they didn't have to be. For more than 20 years, the Bureau of Land Management has rounded up wild horses and brought them here, where prison inmates prepare and train them for public adoption. Left unmanaged, wild herds quickly outgrow their food supply and risk starvation. A few of them um, have a little fight in them. Matthew Peoples is serving through. time for a drug conviction. Right. In four months, he teaches the Mustangs patience and self-discipline. Do you think that's uh, symbolic of what happens sometimes in prison? Um, possibly. To a point, yes. Um, if, if we learn from it when we come here, we can, we can leave and have a better life afterwards, just like the horses. Using the Mustangs for Homeland Security meets several needs. It gives the horses a job, it's less expensive than renting domestic horses, and it offers Border Patrol agents a way to keep an eye out for smugglers and terrorists across terrain where surveillance was almost impossible. These Mustangs, if you look at them, they're very muscular. The feet that they have are, are very hardy for the type of terrain and soil that we have to cross on these trails. They have not been bred and rebred and weakened the, the structure of the animal. Although it took us four hours to patrol just five miles, it used to take agents weeks to patrol the same trail on foot. Later this year, more trained Mustangs will be sent to Idaho and Washington. A modern mission for these last living legends of the old Wild West. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, Whitefish, Montana.